All right, so Aaron's day and then filming, supposed to film earlier, but uh, we have a repairman coming to fix the washer dryer. So I had to push back my filming with Corey and for his good graces, for his flexibility at this time of difficulty. Look, when your dryer's not working, <laughs> I'm just in total disarray. I wanna give him a ham's beer for every hour we had to push back filming. I respect his time. So I think it only makes sense to honor this nice thing that he's done for me. When these go into his fridge, I just don't want anyone to be confused about who they're for, so I figured I would write his name on each one. Back in Chicago, super snowy. Lionel Stylin. All right, nerd alert, very excited. A grocery store opened like 0.2 miles from my apartment and where I've lived for the last three years during the pandemic, there wasn't like a straight up grocery store near my place, like I had to go to Target. Which has food here in Chicago, you know, they all have food, which is great. But now there's a proper, like, local grocery store, Urban Market. So today, Aaron's Day, not to be confused with Aaron's Party. Everyone together, sing aloud. I don't think that bit worked. Round it. So we're gonna snag a bunch of stuff for Sean's first time eating, load up the inventory, bang out the videos, and release them for you here in January. I didn't have many New Year's resolutions, it was just to say the month January, like January. So, I'm all done for the year. Remember when Creed just wanted to do one cartwheel? <laughs> Go. I did it! I'm a rush. That's all I had to do all year. Congratulations. I don't know where to park. Is there parking here? Hey, I'm new here. <laughs> Smart, they got their own garage. Okay. Oh, this is intimidating. Open, please. Oh, it did. Whoa. It's like going into the back cave. Welcome. Please pay your ticket. Please proceed into the lot. Thank you. I better validate this thing. I'm not paying to park here. Really showing my age that I'm really excited about a new grocery store. <laughs> it's a cool little store. They uh, are out of a lot of stuff. So it definitely seems like they're still getting their footing. They were There were a bunch of empty containers and aisles. It seems like they're trying to have a huge kind of hot food section. So they had a ton of people working behind there, but there was probably six people in the store. Meat counter looked great. Deli counter looked awesome. It's definitely a small, like very city store. They did have this pack of brioche buns though I'm excited about. I don't like buying like eight packs. They had just a four pack. I'm gonna use those for a salmon burger on Sean's first time eating. And then also look at this. There was a ton of these, I've never seen this before. Jamaican Champagne Cola. It was just kind of weird and fun. Have you ever seen a more chill mascot? Dude is just living the good life. Please be zero dollars, please be zero dollars, please be zero dollars. Cool. I feel like I'm in Moab in a Jeep going down the rocks. Okay, so another thing I've tasked myself with today is finally putting a bunch of camera gear, a bunch of stuff that I don't use anymore, 
on Facebook Marketplace and on Craigslist to try to get rid of it. I'm actually trying to save up for one of those new Apple MacBooks. I want to have like a seamless transition from editing on the big desktop, which is like is like ground zero of all the great vlogs and client shoots and where I record voiceover. But when I go on the road, which will I'm assuming pick back up in 2022, I want to be able to be working on the desktop, unplug the hard drive, plug it into the laptop, and have that be just as fast. My old MacBook, the one I've had since 2015, this thing will go down into the Hall of Fame. It'll, it'll just continue to be appreciated and loved. It's kind of like Carmelo Anthony right now, like still very much a legend and getting it done, but in a more reserved capacity. <laughs> he's a role player. Yeah, he's your best player out there tonight. Carmelo! And in a pinch, he will be there for you He'll make the shots, he'll export the videos, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna draft a 22 year old that's just got a promising future. So today, taking the photos, putting them on the websites, and trying to move some of this product. One of them being this Yeti Blue microphone that I've used for podcasts and voiceover recordings for years. This thing is a beast, it works perfectly. I've just kind of upgraded the microphone quality as the years have gone on. And as you know, I have the kind of voiceover professional setup in the office now, so I want someone else. Well, this will jumpstart a career. I want them to have this bad boy. I mean, I feel like this is an amazing deal because I'm gonna sell it for way cheaper than, they still sell these at full price. Not me. If you can believe it, the DJI Mavic Air, the thing that has been to Germany, Italy, the island of Oahu in Hawaii. It's flown over the bay in San Francisco, the desert in Arizona, the mountains in Colorado, downtown Chicago. She's a beaut and I'm gonna miss her. But at some point in every cinematographer's life, you need to upgrade. The quality needs to get better. You need to push the needle forward because standing still in this industry is actually moving backwards. So if you want the Shawnee Lee drone, it can be yours. And the last one, I've kind of mentally wrestled with this for a while if I wanted to sell this. I'm still kind of wondering if I don't get the right price, maybe I'll just keep it. But this is the camera that I learned everything on, the exact one, not like, oh, I got a third one. And this this is the, the camera that taught me everything. This is the Canon Rebel T3i. I have been using this since 2011, and I've since upgraded to ones with like way better autofocus, but this thing started it all. I built, I guess it's like a mini empire, whatever you call what I've done, I built that on this camera. And this baby has the add-on battery pack holder, so you get two batteries out of it. So if somebody's been wanting to get into photography or videography or start vlogging, and you don't wanna spend the like $1,200 plus a lens, all that, for the right person I might cut a deal, maybe. So those are three of the things that I'm selling. I'll post the links below this video. I'll also just keep, for whatever is still for sale, I'll keep that in the description of the videos going forward, just so if you ever wanna come back to it and be like, is that still available? I'll throw it there. I'm sure it's gonna be some random person in Chicago is gonna see it on Facebook Marketplace and buy it. That's traditionally how it goes, but we'll see. I gotta go film some food reviews. All right, time to rock. A little vlogging. Yeah, a little vlogging. Sweet. Trying to get more vlogs. Number six with cheese day. Let me turn off this copywritten music there. <laughs> Dude, you're so nice. You understand the assignment. That's I know, what I, and I get it. I yeah. vlog too, I get it. Yeah, yeah, he, see, he's, he's a peer. I love this. Now change your lighting, get your sh face. <laughs> okay, I know you don't like being told what to do, but close your eyes. Okay. Okay, hold both your hands out and like with your palms the other All way. All right, and here together. we go, baby. <laughs> Flip them Give over. Them to me. Flip them over. Oh, okay. I put them together. Okay. Okay, okay, cool. Don't worry, hold on. Okay. Okay, hold on. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Okay. Okay, open them and read. Corey Big Dick <laughs> Wagner, baby! Yes! This man audible to film when I wanted to, so he gets some ham. Sweet. <laughs> Those will be gone tonight. <laughs> you doing dry January? Hell no! <laughs> Food was had, food was enjoyed. Food was delicious. Food was delicious. It is goddamn cold though. It's very right. cold out. All right, dude, happy editing. All right, brother. I will see you very soon. Yep, no doubt. Talk to you on the internet. See you at the meeting tomorrow. See you at the meeting. All right, solid film day. Three videos done. Feeling productive. If anybody would like to edit those food reviews for me, <laughs> that would be great. Okay. So one thing that was entirely my idea during the pandemic was Allie and I actually got a little share uh, at a farm here in Chicago. So we get a bunch of fresh produce and uh, bakery bakes us bread. So I kind of convinced her to do it. And uh, we got our box here today. Look at this bread. Look at that. 
I didn't know we were playing two truths and a lie. All the eggs that you always see in the videos, they're these farm fresh cage free eggs. They're incredible. Is that arugula? Yeah. All right, here's some frisé. Ooh, look at these tomatoes. Mighty Vine tomatoes. Ooh, trumpet mushrooms. Stop playing with the food. Yellow onion, green apple. What is this? World's most concerning sweet potato of all time. What's this? Another weird root vegetable. Radish? Whoa. Dwight Schrute's. The last taste of summer. Kombucha, ginger chai, kombucha. Lots of kombucha. Nobody oh, thinks, wow, cool. Nobody, nobody thinks that's funny. Dr. Pepper. Are you trying to do comedy? Not well. Local food. Hell. All right, it didn't take long to tear into this bread. Immediately, it, it immediately happened. The olive oil salt. Oh my God. Mm. This is the move, this is forever, forever the way to make bread taste better. <laughs> I thought he was gonna nab it for sure. His foot was in my pants. Isn't that so good? <laughs> That's the move. Mm. All right, real quick. I'm gonna try this kombucha. Watermelon flavored. You guys ever get down with the booch? Cheers. Ooh, that's nice. That is really good. Mm -hmm. A lot of digestive health properties that really help someone like me that gorges himself on food on a few different channels. So kombucha, that's a win for me. I can feel it doing its magic. You've had two sips. Mm-hmm. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy.